How can you be premier if you haven't been elected? We got a message the other day from a Colin Carmichael off of Twitter. Borrowing from Alberta, he writes, and watching people freak out that their premier is unelected. And how can she be premier without a seat? What's Ontario's history with this? Good question, Colin. Colin, I actually got a very angry email from somebody the other day as well who said, an outrage. Danielle Smith is the new premier of Alberta. She's being sworn in as the premier. She hasn't even got a seat yet. How can she be the premier when nobody elected her? The people have not given their consent to this. How is this possible? Isn't this an outrage against democracy? To which I say, no, this is the way it has always been. This is our system, and there's nothing new about what Danielle Smith is doing in Alberta, and there's nothing happening in the province of Alberta that we haven't seen already happen here in the province of Ontario, and not that long ago. Let me take you back to 2002. Mike Harris steps down as the Premier of Ontario. There's a leadership convention to replace him. Progressive Conservative delegates at the convention, in their wisdom, choose Ernie Eves to be Mr. Harris's replacement. Ernie Eves, at that point, had left public life. He had been Mike Harris's finance minister, but all those budgets that he'd brought in, those were in the past. At that moment, he was an executive on Bay Street. He was out of politics. He did not have a seat. Ernie Eves won the PC Leadership Convention in 2002 and thus became the new Premier of Ontario. But he didn't have a seat. Didn't matter. He still led the party that commanded the confidence of the Ontario Legislature. In other words, you don't need a seat to be the Premier of Ontario. You don't need a seat to be the Premier of Alberta. If party members have decided that you are going to be the leader and your party commands the confidence of the legislature, that's enough for now. However, it would be inconsistent with democratic principles to say, and therefore I'm never going to seek a seat in the legislature. And as we're seeing right now in Alberta, Danielle Smith is going to run in a by-election, which will be in a very safe United Conservative Party riding, and she will no doubt win, and she will then take her seat in the legislature. She'll have probably been Premier for more than a month already when that happens, but that's the way it's going to work. You could argue that it's inconsistent with democratic principles to be able to become the Premier without having a seat in the legislature. If you do hold that view, you'd be going against 155 years of Canadian parliamentary tradition, which essentially says, if you're the head of the party that has the confidence of the Legislative Assembly or the House of Commons, you're entitled to be the boss. If you have any other questions about politics, please send me a tweet. I'm at S. Paikin. That's S-P-A-I-K-I-N. And while you're here, check out some of our other Nerds on Politics videos as well.